Привет. Как дела? Меня зовут Итан. Good morning, Kings. I would like to share some of the word with you this morning. Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a tent. He lays the beams of his chambers on the waters. He makes the clouds his chariot. He rides the wings of the wind. He makes his messengers winds. He ministers a flaming fire. He set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be moved. You covered it with, you covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Besides them, the birds of heaven, the birds of heaven dwell, for they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the livestock, and plants for man to cultivate, that they may bring forth food from the earth, and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that are planted. In them the birds build their nest, the stork has her home in the, f in the fire in the, f in the trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats. The rocks are refuge for the rock badgers. He made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows a time for the sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. You make darkness and it is night. When all the beasts of the forest creep out, the young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they steal away and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and his labor until evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which, tame, which teems as creatures, unnumerable, living things, both small and great. There go the ships and levithine, which you form to play in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, when you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and will turn to dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles? Who touches the mountains and they smoke? I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed for the earth. Bro, something just weird happened to my computer. I like the screenshot out, bro. I'm tripping out. I'm tripping out. Let the sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. <coughs> that was all of Psalms 104. Now, essentially, what the psalmist is saying, he's just talking about God's intimate connection to the world. And this is very powerful. Because we always take for granted 
how beautiful the earth really is. And I think it's very good. So every morning, I gratitude journal, and I go outside, and I bring my Bible with me and whatever book I want to read. And I sit on my porch out there, and I watch the sun come up. I spend 15 minutes reading my Bible, and I spend 15 minutes reading whatever book I've been wanting to read. And I just watch the sun come up. And I think that's a very powerful thing to, to be able to appreciate the world and appreciate the word. And I think that's very beautiful. But even more so, this book right here, every man should have to read this book. The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. David Data. I hope I'm not butchering that. He has a chapter in here that I would like to steal from. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm getting there. This is a very, very good chapter. I'd recommend everyone to read this book. Okay, come on, computer. Okay, my computer keeps tripping out. All right, the feminine is abundant. This is a very good chapter in it, and. Uh, Basically, what he's saying in this chapter, he's not just talking feminine about woman. Feminine energy, you can view it like an ocean. It's vast. It's powerful. But most of all, it's unpredictable. As we all know, the feminine is a very unpredictable topic. It's a very unpredictable thing. And we can view women and feminine energy as an ocean. It's vast, it's dangerous, it's powerful, it's beautiful, and it's unpredictable. And man is like a ship. It uses the power of the ocean to get where it needs to go, from point A to point B, as we know. A man's greatest will is his purpose. The ship's purpose is point A to point B. And so, let's learn how to sail. Okay. Feminine energy doesn't just come from women. Music is feminine. Taking a walk down the beach is feminine. There's all kinds of activities that give you a sense of feminine energy. It's not a bad thing. Masculine men have a great appreciation for feminine energy. It's like refreshment. It's good for them. This is why some girl men when the day comes to the end they might Sit down, watch TV, drink a beer. Or for me, I like to listen to music when all my work is done. That's feminine energy. And it's the same way while we have an appreciation for a woman who is just who is just like glowing. You see her, she's beautiful. She's not, she doesn't even necessarily have to be beautiful, just her radiance. I want to talk about radiance a lot more on that channel because I think that's, it's a hard topic to understand but it's very important to understand it, and it's very beneficial understanding it. Radiance. There's nothing more attractive than a radiant woman. Radiant woman. And so there's feminine energy everywhere. And so seeing that sun come up every morning is my way of digesting and consuming feminine energy. And so what I just read... Talk about the glory of the world, how the springs sink down below the mountains. So, my challenge for you 
is go outside more and when you are outside appreciate nature recognize where it came from that it was made with intention and that it's beautiful it's radiant it's a gift accept that and I will say it's harder to appreciate and consume feminine energy when you're not a masculine man and so I suppose that this topic is more for the more advanced in their self-improvement journey but it's still a good thing to, to hear and to think about so yeah let's appreciate nature more and let's uh Let's widen our understanding of feminine energy. I know I need to. You know you need to. This is something that's very important. Feminine energy can come from nature, music drugs women other stuff and feminine energy is like a refreshment for the masculine man it's like food we need it it's like if a man doesn't consume feminine energy he'll, he'll go insane and you may think this is so crazy oh feminine energy that's not, I'm masculine I don't estrogenics <laughs> no whether you admit it or not you already consume feminine energy every day whether it's from video games or music or any other kind of passive activity. Watching a movie. Taking a walk. Playing with your dog or cat. Or just having a nice conversation. These are all feminine activities that can be a good refresher for, for masculine men. And I think that's a good thing. Something that I really want to focus on on this channel is, is feminine energy. I think that's like, if there was like a top three things that a masculine man should have mastered in his understanding, one of them is definitely feminine energy. And so, this is just something that I kind of thought about on the spot, and I thought I'd make a video about something that I want to play with over time, kind of toy around with this idea. I want to make more videos about it. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. You know. And, uh, I'm on your team. <laughs>